and we're back with another AI video. We're going to be checking out Answer This. It's a new AI tool that makes research easier. If you've ever done any sort of research, then you'll know that one of the first steps is actually identifying existing research. This can be a very tedious and time consuming endeavor. Whether you're a student or researcher looking for a quick, reliable access to a ton of information, Answer This is gonna speed up the research process by providing all the information you'll need on virtually any topic. Head on over to answerthis.io. Link is gonna be in the description as always. So you can come on over to sign up and click on that. And you can enter all your details in here to sign up, make an account, or you can bypass that with your Google account to make the process super fast. All right, and then that's gonna land you onto the homepage. So here's a quick look at the interface that we're gonna be dealing with today. You're gonna to see a lot of different options on the left-hand side and at the top here. We're gonna be jumping into the key features here step-by-step -step today, starting with literature review. So come on over here to literature review. Literature review is essential for understanding the current state of research in a specific field. It's gonna help with synthesizing existing knowledge, avoiding duplication between research, formulating research questions or a hypothesis, and then showing why your research actually matters. Let's say that I'm a student and I wanna search up a research topic here. So I wanna search up how does the brain process information? And I actually want to find all the top research on this. So let's go ahead and try that out. Go ahead and click enter here. And we're gonna have a bunch of options to choose from on the right hand side here. In terms of the answer type, structured literature review is answers that are gonna be citation rich. You're gonna have dynamic research assistant here. It's actually going to find research gaps and research questions that kind of come out of your output. You're gonna have AI only. This here is gonna be very fast responses, similar to searching up a question on ChatGPT or Claude, for example. Minimum citation is gonna go with three, gonna keep turbo mode on, and then the database here. For my particular use case, I'm just gonna be interested in all the different research papers. So I wanna keep that. I'm gonna keep web search off here, and then you can also click if you want to look into the patents and the my library we're going to touch on my library a little bit later on in the video publication date I'm going to keep this wide open this is pretty much so it doesn't exclude anything it's going to include everything you can also enable a double check of citations where it's going to up the processing time but it's going to provide a little bit more accuracy in terms of the citation and let's go ahead and submit all right so the ai is doing its thing right now it's gathering sources so we're going to let it do that by the way you can close this window and you are gonna get an email notification once everything is completed and the processing is all done. All right, so here is what we get. On the left-hand side, you're gonna get your answer. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna get your sources. The answer here was made from synthesizing all the different sources here found on the right-hand side. So you're gonna get a super comprehensive, nicely laid out answer here that has all the citations that it has used throughout. And you can go through each one if you'd like. Now on the right hand side, you have your sources. So you have a couple options at the top here. You can do a table view if you wanna read things into a table. You can sort things. You can pick the citation style. You can export as well. Let's just go through some of the sources here. So. You're gonna have your sources here one by one. It'll let you know if there's a PDF available, where it comes from, all the different citations, when it was published. You can either chat with the paper or save it to your library here. So, super awesome. Now, let's check out the chat with paper feature here. It's a really cool feature, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here is our source on the left-hand side here. So I can actually chat with the paper. So if I have any follow-up questions or if I wanna break down a complex part of the source. I can do that on the right hand side here. Let's actually do the explain selected text first here. You can actually come in here, select your text, explain selected text. It's actually going to break this down here and kind of simplify it a little bit more for me here. Okay, so the chat has explained this text a bit more for me here. It's just breaking things down in more detail, going into the nitty gritty of everything and just adding more to the conversation here. And let's just scroll to the bottom here. Let's say I want to summarize the source in one sentence material. All right, so I just asked to summarize the source material in one sentence here. And it has done exactly that here. I also wanna talk a little bit more about how the citation protocol actually works here. If you come on over to the answer, whatever you're researching for, and you just scroll down a little bit, 
you're going to notice that there's these little hyperlink numbers scattered throughout. These are actually referencing the exact citations. And if we come over here, this sentence is talking about a super technical thing here about hair cells and sound vibrations and neural impulses. If I click on the number two here, it's going to jump down to the second source in my sources here. And it's basically telling me that this citation, this claim here was pulled out of this source. So this just means that in your answer, you're going to have a ton of credibility in terms of the claims that are being made. And you can always go back and reference them within the sources. The line by line citation feature automatically rolls out whenever you go ahead and formulate an answer. All right, before diving into the next feature, I want to quickly talk about pricing. With the free plan, you're actually going to be able to check out most of the core features. So you're going to get six literature reviews, eight document uploads, which I'm going to show what that is shortly, line by line citations, and a few other features. However, for $22 per month, you're going to get unlimited literature reviews, unlimited document uploads, AI writer, my library, and a few other features as well. Also want to mention that if you go for the annual billing, you're going to get a pretty big savings there at 45% off at $12 a month. So if you're finding you're getting a ton of value here, you can check out the pro subscription. The next feature I want to highlight is the PDF upload capability. So if you come on over to the search bar and you look to the right hand side, you're going to get an option to upload a PDF. So let's go ahead and try that out. If I click on that and I can actually drag and drop my file here. Let's say I have a PDF that I want to answer this to synthesize. I can upload that right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just uploaded this PDF workout plan and I'm actually going to ask, answer this to please summarize this workout plan. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and query submitted successfully. So it is analyzing and it is doing its thing. Okay, so here's my answer on the left hand side here. What we have here is a summary of key points that's been extracted from our PDF on the right hand side. So it's all laid out nicely. It gives us an intro here, the Greek God muscle building program, a comprehensive summary. It's gonna go through the training regimen, what the focus is. It's gonna go through the methods here. And then if you go all the way down, it's gonna have a conclusion here. So let's say that you have some sort of hefty PDF from either school or work let's say it's 40 pages, and let's say you, you want to comprehend or summarize that document concisely, you can actually come here to answer this. You can upload the PDF. You can ask the question that you want to ask based on that massive PDF, and it's going to create an output on kind of what you're going for. So there's a ton of value here in terms of getting information super fast on pre-existing documents that you already may have. Okay, another great feature with Answer This is you're gonna notice that as you're interacting with different sources, you can actually come down to the source and you can save the source to your library. Let's say I save this to my library right here. So I'll go ahead and save to my library. This is called the search for worlds like our own. I'm gonna come back to the homepage and if I go to the top here and click on the library, click here, it's gonna load my saved papers here. If there's specific sources that I run into that I'd like that I want to keep in one spot, I can add them to my library. And once I have the sources in my library, I can interact with them further. Let's have a look at more features that come with the pro subscription. We're going to have a look at editor. Just like it sounds, editor is a place where you can make relevant edits to your work. However, it's going to be best leveraged with the research you come across on the platform. If you scroll to the bottom, you're going to find your recent searches. Click on any of these and it's going to bring the research into the editor. Let's say I just pulled up a hundred word research section about the International Space Station. So I can come to the top here and I can make any quick edits that I want to make. There's going to be your standard editing tasks, but I will say the best part is going to be the AI features. So let's have a look at that real quick. So with my hundred word piece here, I can come over here to the AI features and I can either humanize the text generate an outline, generate an abstract, and a few other features as well. Let's say I want to generate an outline with my information here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have some proposed changes to go through here. So it has gone through my 100 word piece here and it has given the appropriate outlines here. So I can see an introduction, I can see conclusion, and then the different kind of topics throughout. So it's just kind of taken my research and it's structured it into an outline. And so if I'm happy with the changes, I can go ahead and hit apply changes right here and see it's gone through and now it's cleaned up everything and broken everything down into a nice clean outline. This specific feature is going to be really effective if you have a bulk text of research and you're looking to create a customized outline with that content to make it all neat and clean 
within seconds. Another pro feature here. So let's jump into citation map, just right at the top here. Go ahead and click this. The citation map feature helps visualize how different pieces of research connect through a citation network. In short, it shows which researchers are citing others' research. To give it a go, you're gonna start with some research that you're interested in. I'm gonna look up space exploration. Let's go ahead and search this. And we're gonna scroll down here a little bit. And this one looks really interesting. So human behavior and performance in deep space exploration, next challenges and research gaps. I'm gonna go ahead and set as origin by clicking right here. All right, so now we have the citation network that I mentioned earlier. This is the research paper in the middle here that we looked up. And if you click on it, as we just did, you come to the top here, you're gonna have a couple of options. You're gonna have your paper info. This gives you a rundown of your research paper. Then you're gonna have your metrics here. So it's telling us that there's 152 papers in our research network here. You can go through each one, one by one, and see how they connect to each other. Let's minimize that. Most cited papers is gonna be the papers within your research that have the most citation. Then you have most connected papers and top contributing authors. So you can go through and see how everything connects to each other and essentially just find out the relationship between all the work here. So if you're a researcher, academic or scholar who needs to track the impact of research, is looking to identify key players or trends in research areas, is aiming to build off existing research or just wants to see who is citing who, the citation map feature is going to be the perfect resource for you. All right, so just some final thoughts here. So if you have any sort of research you're looking to tackle, it doesn't matter if it's for school or for work, whatever the case may be, answer this cannot be overlooked. This platform is like a hack for efficiently summarizing, analyzing, and managing any research you come across. It really excels in extracting and synthesizing knowledge from a massive database or large document. So be sure to check out the link in the description and you can try it out for free today.